with some neighbors walking around this morning checking out what exactly happened apart from what they've been seeing on air all day but they're trying to check out what is left behind now we did see some deputies or investigators walking by shortly as you could see on your right hand side that's where the hole is and it's being covered by those trees there and the caution tape is not permitting us to go over there but there's a big gap on that that barrier and it's because like you said Rachel that plane was in going in that direction not necessarily to crash but to try and land as safely as possible without harming anyone on I-75 or the homes around here but if you look at the video that I'm going to show right now that is from residents who saw and caught it all on camera of what happened moments after the crash now you could see the I-75 barrier that we can't see here but sliced in half and the plane engulfed in flames and smoke now debris from the plane and barrier were all over their yards and we spoke with Javid Kapadia, a homeowner who lives right across the I-75 barrier where the plane crashed and he told us he heard the crash and even felt it inside his home but when he saw the smoke he never expected to see a plane crash just a few feet from his home. Yeah I was upstairs getting ready to go to the gym and all of a sudden I heard uh, an explosion or sounded like an explosion my my house shook and I thought that maybe somebody hit my house and then I looked out the window and I saw black smoke and uh, a bunch of helicopters just right out there just in shock I'm, I'm still shaking to this moment it was just it's just it's just shocking to, 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 to it's hard to even comprehend what actually happened and that's the exact reaction we've been hearing from a lot of neighbors here just shocked to hear a plane crash near their homes and not only that but that they felt it inside their homes whether they were away at work they saw their ring camera footage of that shaking from their homes or their pets and their animals basically freaking out over the sound but what we did again this barrier is supposed to be a sound barrier like we were saying so it's supposed to keep the sound away from this neighborhood and they still heard it now all we know right now is like we said five people were aboard on that plane two did not make it unfortunately but three managed to escape and get out safely now we're still seeing if we can identify the five people that were on the plane and we'll bring back those updates when we can live in collier county camila pereira wink news